Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my press conference. I could be facing the sack. I've uh, spoken to the Liverpool board and they said you must qualify to the knockout stage of the Champions League. We cannot afford the embarrassment of going out in the group stage, especially because we are the holders. We are the winners of the Champions League. We cannot afford to go out in the group stage. So I will do everything in my power to qualify to the knockout stage. I just ask the fans to believe in us. Any questions? Mark Smolen from the mirror. Mourinho just said that you are the most overrated manager in the world. What is your reaction to this? Do you think he will succeed at Man United? I'm not here to play silly mind games with Mourinho. I mean, I'm top of the league with Liverpool. He's down in mid-table. So I'm sorry Mourinho, but can you speak louder? I can't hear you from down there. I respect Mourinho's achievement, but his attitude just stinks the place up, man. I just hate how arrogant and how deluded it is. At least I don't uh, blame my physio, my doctor, my cat, my dog, the weather about losing games as manager. At least I take full responsibility. He's entitled to his opinion. I don't really give a damn, to be honest. I'm sitting here at the top of the Premier League table. I'm a three times Premier League champion. I'm a two time Champions League winner. I won multiple League Cups, FA Cups. Stick to your own job, Mourinho, because you have work to do in mid-table with Man United. Touché. What is up, guys? It's Tommy here, and welcome back to a brand new Liverpool Carrier Road Show episode. Thank you so much for your awesome support on the previous episodes. Keep it up, keep smashing the live button, and I will keep uploading in this series and also my other Carrier Mode series. We'll be back and I'm planning to do a lot more Ultimate Team videos and in two weeks time the real life football videos, the real life football challenges will start as soon as my camera gear arrives that I pre-ordered. Really really excited about the real life football videos, I have so many awesome ideas and we will film a lot of awesome videos with my friends. And I'm playing my second string side, the youth side, because we have a very important Champions League game where we need to secure our qualification to the knockout stage after this one so basically I'm fielding a very young side but this team has done really well so far this season so let's hope that continues oh this is beautiful come on Fiatta score ah what a miss no way oh they hit the post Swansea dangerous no wow Beautiful, Nunez! And Johansson, what the? Johansson, that was the worst shot I've ever seen. No. No! Oh my god, Karius saved us. Please? Johansson, must finish! No! He saved it! Come on, Johansson. Surely! No, 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 no. Oh, no. What? Oh, my God. He's in. Karius. Wow. Same old story as in many of the games that we dominate the game. We create loads of chances, but the finishing is sometimes missing. But these are young players, so that's expected. I'm still proud of the performance. We should have won this game in all honesty. Here are the young players that I'm training, all of them are Youth Academy or Regen players and I decided to start training the left back Ribeiro because in the long run I think we need another fullback coming through from the Youth Academy and he could, he could be a very good player. If we lose to Porto by two goals we could be out of the Champions League so we need to avoid a heavy defeat but I will try to win the game. Because we can still win the group if we win and Schalke lose to Rubin Kazan. And this will be my team, the strongest possible lineup, just to make sure that we advance in the Champions League group stage. Oh, Ter Stegen, well done. Come on. Gaia! Oh, what a strike! Gaia almost scored another goal. Oh, wow! Ter Stegen, really, bro? Come on, man! And Ter Stegen, what are you doing? You punch Schüle in the face 
instead of catching the ball. No way. Oh my god. Come on, what the hell is going on? Come on, Royce. This is it. Marco! No! Come on, Come on Henderson, Henderson! Dibala! Fucking hell, what is up with the shooting, man? Oh no, 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 no! Ter Stegen, wow! Come on, get Seron! That's a pen! That is a penalty! Must be! And it is! And the red card! See you later! Get in the shower, mate! Martin Cindy gets a red card, we get a penalty, and if we score this, we are through to the knockout stage. Dybala goes in, and Indy takes him out. We must score this, man. Come on, Royce! Marco Royce! Come on! One there! Yes! That's a big goal by Royce. We need to freshen things up. As you can see, we have a lot of very, very tired players. And and yeah, let's these are the free substitutions that I'm making. Come on! Oh my god! Jordan Anderson just scored an absolute screamer! Oh, 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 oh. He's up Anderson and bang! Oh, that is a perfect long shot. Ooh, look at this, perfect angle. It just flies into the top corner. Surely. Quincy, oh my god. Not gonna lie guys, we are lucky to win this game because Porto were the better team, especially in the first half. They had eight shots in the first half, I just had two. Second half, completely different story. I had eight shots and they had just one. This is how the group stage finished for us. We only finished second, which means that we could get a really hard draw in the next round. But let's see how other groups finish. So we could get Bayern Munich, Inter qualified only on goal difference ahead of Lyon. And also we could get Barcelona. I say bring it on. If they, if we get them, Arsenal finished second, <clears throat> so Arsenal will also get a very hard draw, just like Man United. The English teams finished second in their group. Dortmund got knocked out. Valencia won this group, quite a surprise. <coughs> Paris Saint Germain won this group. Benfica finished second, and Monaco won this group. Chelsea only finished second, so all four English teams finished second in their groups. And Juventus won this group, Atletico Madrid finished second and the biggest shock of the group stage, Real Madrid failed to qualify. Zenit and Bayer Leverkusen got ahead of them, that is just crazy. And here is the Champions League draw and we actually avoided the likes of Bayern Munich, Juventus and Barcelona. We got Paris Saint-Germain which is a hard draw but at least it's like not a real powerhouse like uh, Bayern and Barcelona. I wanted to avoid those two teams. Man United will play Barcelona, Arsenal will play Bayern. So the other English teams also got very hard draws. And as you can see, we are four points ahead of Arsenal. We dropped some points recently, so we need to win this. But I'm again trusting the young players. But I also threw in Emre Can, Firmino and Origi just to add a little bit more quality to the side. Go on, Origi. Go on. All in. Origi. What a start. A fantastic counter attack. And this is why I started Origi. Because I felt that we need more firepower. The through ball was fantastic. And Origi can finish those. I know 39 yards is a very, very long distance. But let's try it with Johansson. Oh my, what a free kick! I like it. Nunez! Ah, unlucky, that was nice work. Please. Come on! No, Nunez, how? What a save by the goalie! Come on. 
Come on, don't need a hard! Yes! 2 now! Fantastic finish! Great goal! Lovely! No! Oh my god, Karius! Kuyate! That's a goal! That's a fantastic cross by Kuyate! And Dimitri Pai is never going to miss that. I'm changing the midfield just to freshen things up. Shovumi, McDonald and Bazur coming on. Come on! No, how on earth? Origi! Oh. oh my god. You want some, please? Yes! Game, set, and match! Come on! Let's watch the replay of this. What on earth is that one defender doing up there? Did you see that? He's playing Johansson on side. No! Oh, come on! Oh, last time I back in it again! Piet with a double. Maybe I rushed to the pass because I thought we have a counter-attacking opportunity here. Come on! Johansson! Oh my word! What a goal! Johansson is amazing! And surely this is game over! Look at the whole team celebrating together! That is brilliant! And the composure by Johansson to do a goal roll and then put it right into the near post top corner! Fantastic goal! Boom! What a game! I really hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed this game. I did. The youth academy and region players are doing so so well. Johansson scored two brilliant goals and we dominated as you can see. We could have scored even more goals. West Ham sometimes were hanging on for dear life in this game. And Johansson of course the man of the match with two goals. Nunez, Bazur and Origi and O Firmino got assists in this one. Here is how the Premier League looks like. We extended our lead to 7 points guys because Arsenal bottled it. Bottle job FC again. They lost points. They lost the game. And now we are in cruise control in the Premier League title race. Which means that we can afford to field even more times the Youth Academy and Region players. I really hope that you guys enjoy watching them develop into world-class players in this series. Man City are in the relegation zone, which is just incredible, and Leicester City as well. But in this career mode, they just got promoted from the second division. Anyway, I really hope that you guys thoroughly enjoyed today's episode. I had so much fun playing with the first team and the second team, and in the third game I had a mixture of both. So yeah, Johansson is now joined 7th in the top scorers chart with 6 goals, the Zlatan region was well worth buying, he is lighting up the Premier League. <laughs>